to Big Blippy Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. That one is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, no, 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 no! Never get too close to fireworks! Be safe! Give them some space! Okay! Hey! It's me, Flippy, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and takes the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Whoa! Great! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful. Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right, let's go. <gasps> Here it comes, the grand finale. What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for adventure! Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa! What was that? Hey! It's me, Flippy! What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game! Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> Holding out on what? Treats. 
I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this! Ha -ha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi! It's so dark! How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats! No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all! What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Snackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh. -hoo. I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Bliffy. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Ooh. Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. Okay, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, 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 I rhymed again. <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. The nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear. This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa. Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer, Tabs. 
Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bye. Woo yeah. Zoom taps? Great. Since I just finished my fun painting. Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs, exactly right. It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors. <gasps> Whoa, a rainbow, so many colors. I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wing confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Flippy Station! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors! Guys and gals, attention please! The Big Blue Sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer, I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one, I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, Blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Blippi. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Easy, careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, oh, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! You're right, Diva! It sure is hard! Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon! That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T-minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! 
It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk in command! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy! We're on it! See, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Wow, I love our cool Blippi-mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm. I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> We're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go. To the top of that hill. <laughs> we made it. Knew we would. Now down. Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Great Grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Wow, that's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? 
great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirm. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti. I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. Woo! Ice! We're up so high, and it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! Whoa! Gotcha! Oh, oh, that was a close one. Hey! It's the mountain top! Yeah! We made it! Oh, whoa! It's so windy up here! I gotcha, Blippi! So, what is the name of this mountain? It's Hamalangma! Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer, Tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. And, well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp. Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale?
and she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea. Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm going to need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go! A uh, nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired. Time to get the mud. Mud is landing in the nest. Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch. This guy again? Debo. <laughs> Time to build! First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa! You use your beak to build it! The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be fun to have a dinosaur as a pet. Hmm, I wonder, would a dinosaur make a good pet? Good thinking. We'll go back in time to find out. I'm gonna need the grabber arm and monster truck wheels. Grabber arm, monster truck wheels, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! That's right! We're in the Cretaceous period. Millions of years ago, when the Earth was filled with... Dinosaurs! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, Blippi! I'm Tina, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi, Tina. We were wondering, would a dinosaur make a good pet? 
An animal that you love and care for. Wow, being a pet sounds amazing. Maybe I could be your pet for the day. Can you drop Debo, please? Debo's made of metal, and we don't want you to break a tooth. Good, Dino. We sure do have sharp teeth. I use mine to eat. Whoa, do you eat a lot? Feeding is an important part of having a pet. I can bite off 500 pounds of food in one jump. That's a lot more than I have here. Hmm, let's try a trick. Great idea, Debo. Go fetch, Tina. <laughs> Sometimes I forget my size. Us T-Rexes can be as tall as 12 feet high and up to 40 feet long. Wow, that's so big. Hey, let's go for a walk, Tina. Whoa, look at all of those teeth. tells me that's not how a walk is supposed to go. We gave it a try, but I'm not sure if dinosaurs are meant to be pets. I think you're right. We're meant to rule the jungle. Yep, and you helped find the answer to my question. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Dinosaurs are big, have lots of teeth, need room to roam, and eat a lot. So they might not be good pets, but it's still fun to imagine. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Tina. Bye. Come back in time. Anytime.